Ladies and gents, what is your reaction? This is cooking. What is cooking? Is this cooking while he burns something like a bush or something? Yeah, that's how it's gonna start, right? Yes, this is from the channel Incognito Mode, another internet historian in the field video. He's gonna have one of his friend here and talk about it. It's always awesome, right? More creators should do things like this. He has his main channel where he creates main scripted video where it takes a long time, a uh, year or so to make uh, some big ass documentary level video and then other times he makes videos like this which is fun uh, you know like what is his take on different things more funny uh, take of it i guess so it's gonna be interesting that's what it remember if you like my reaction don't forget to subscribe so that way i know which videos to react to more i like you know interesting videos obviously anybody who's been watching my channel for a long time knows that this is one of the channels i've been watching for a long time i don't quite a few interesting videos uh, reactions if you haven't seen them check out the link in the description and yeah that's what it cooking cooking what is cooking? It's a frozen TV dinner, that's what it is that's cooking. And I put it in the microwave with my camera, so you can see it cooking in real time. Don't worry, that's not smoke, that's steam. It's totally normal. Yes, black steam. <coughs> oh God, it's locked, it won't open, it won't open. Uh, help! Yeah. I'm gonna have to break the glass. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't reach the plug. I can't reach the plug. Nine, nine, one. Yes, operate. I have fire services. Yes. Come quickly. I'm very hungry. By the way, I just want to say this, people are afraid of microwaves, even the Joe Rogan, basically, Joe Rogan podcast, apparently, that's where everybody gets their information, apparently, and they're like, it's radiation, radiation, a light is radiation, the fuck you on about, right? Everything's radiation, every light spectrum is radiation, is it, you know, ionizing radiation or water radiation, that's what you need to worry about, this is just tuned, this is just microwaves tuned to water frequency, just so water can like heat up and boil basically, you pump energy into water, water molecules move, that's how it heats, right, that's all there is to it, right, and once you stop the microwaves, there are no microwaves left in the food, right, so just, I, I, I don't know, like if anybody has this misconception, I just wanted to say that because I hear about that a lot. Even the people I know, like the hell you talking about, right? And I have to give them the lecture just like this, I guess. I would like to try just once cooking meth. <laughs> I think that looks kind of fun. You know what I mean? You know, it feels like it's got that nice kind of part about cooking where it's like, you don't have to be exactly right about the recipe. You can kind of intuit a few things. And nope, then I don't think any of that's true. <laughs> At the end, you get this big glossy thing, and it's like, all right, you missed opportunity. He should have used the clips from like Breaking Bad and put his face on it, the meme guy face on it, the interesting face, I guess, and just like do that shit. You don't even have to smoke it. You could just turn it into like a nice vase. It feels entrepreneurial as well. It's like me and the gang. There's something nice about it. I think it'd be cool if we had a cooking show. Binging with Babbage, but it's like it's drugs. <laughs> Welcome to Tweaking with Tony. I'm your host, <laughs> Tweaking Tony. And like week one, it's like it's the pilot episode, right? So it's like today we're just going to yeah. be making some classic old fashioned methamphetamine. And it like does a B roll where it's just like a baking sheet. <laughs> it's like methamphetamine, it like wipes over methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some I prepared earlier. But if you're going to do the same, you're going to need... This is my grandmother's recipe. <laughs> clang, you know, clang, she clang. didn't exactly pass it down to me. Open the door, it's FBI. Shh, 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 I'm cooking right now. Me, but I remember watching her make it a lot when we were children. And now I've had a lot of fun recreating it for my new recipe book. <laughs> Tweaking with Tony, recipes to serve 30 to life. But then, like, people love it. Mm. So now we're on like episode six. We've done like meth, cocaine, crack, and we've done like a little trendy video where it's like, today we're going to be making the meth from Breaking Bad. That's right. Everybody's <laughs> yeah. favorite TV Yeah, we started show. to run out of gimmicks. We've done uh, opium into just uh, heroin. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and it's like season seven is like, all right, today we're going to explore what to do when you're a little bit tired of cooking, right? Uh, today we're just going to... Just... Okay, I'm surprised that there are no people in like... Me, there might, must be, right? We actually do this and put in like what dark web or something where like 
FBI can't really monitor uh, that much or something and just actually put shows like that, that kind of shit. Well, right, we're gonna do this. Like, okay. First of all, you can't have shows like this because you can't cook meth like that. The smoke and all that, like, that's not how chemistry works. People won't be able to sit there. Their eyes would be, like, burning and, like, all that shit. Just gonna be huffing paint. <laughs> <laughs> Minimal effort, no real prep time. You can be in and out in 45 seconds. Uh, today we will be drinking just gasoline. Uh, with a spoon. <laughs> now there's no need to preheat this. You can just drink it at room temperature. It's perfectly good. I'm gonna step onto my balcony garden, uh, where we will climb over to my neighbor's balcony garden. We're gonna be using his kitchen today because the smell <laughs> won't dissipate for several weeks. <laughs> And we don't want the police knocking on our door, now do we? And it's like a studio audience applause. Oh, me! this is actually such a brilliant premise for a show. If, I, this would be so much funnier if I knew anything about cooking meth. <laughs> you know what I hate mm. is I feel like cookbooks are like so incredibly vain. Yeah, there's some great, you know, recipes and stuff for you to make at home, but really it's about my childhood. No, it fucking <laughs> isn't, man! <laughs> and it's really describing a memory around this recipe. Like, you know, you know Kevin from The Office? That dude has a cookbook for chili. Yeah. There are 106 recipes in that book. Mm. And he was like, but there's some great stories in this book. I promise, there's some great stories. Can you imagine, like, you're trying to get fucking dinner ready for her story, and she's like, oh, babe, are, are you almost done making the <laughs> salmon quiche? And you're like, yeah, hold on, man. I mean, when he was growing up <laughs> in the Philippines, like... I just got to the bit with his first kiss. <laughs> why, why does it matter that your grandma made it this way? Yeah. No, I don't, I hate I don't that give shit. a shit. I watch so many YouTube videos where they're like, I don't really like adding this much salt, but that's how my grandma used to make Your mm. grandma's not in your kitchen with a wooden stick ready to hit you on the fucking hands. I want to see a grandma with a Michelin stick. Yeah, look, I'm, an, I'm Indian. India, India food, right? Uh, so, uh, first of all, when people say all these things, it's trying to give you entertainment, obviously. Like, they can't just like, oh, here's the food, here's the recipe. What is this, like a German show? This is how you do it. This is proper. Get out of here. B buy the tea, right? So, they're trying to create this kind of like an environment type of way. And also, like, there is that thing, right? I mean, since I was a kid, you know, whatever I eat, you know, like the food that my mother makes, right? Even if I eat something that is better, for me, it's not better. I'm like, this is shit. And like, everybody's talking, what are you talking about? It's awesome. And I'm like, no, this is, I don't like that. So people do develop preferences, right? This is a different food, right? Since you've been growing up, all the foods that you eat and the way they were made, right? With the just right spices. If you change those, you can instantly feel it, right? Uh, if it's some other type of food you eat, like, okay, wait a minute, this feels similar, but something's off type of way. So I understand where the people is coming from, like, this is how, the, you know, my mother made it. Even though it might be slightly off than how you're supposed to make it, that's the food I like now, right? That type of way. I can understand that. Star, before I start taking more of this grandma advice, I'm sick of this. They're trying to justify doing it stupidly. Mm. They're like, normally you can just crack your hard boiled eggs, you know, a little bit on the side and just peel them off. But I like to just eat them with the shell on. You know, <laughs> call me crazy, but you know, that's how Gam Gam taught us. <laughs> we were happy. What level of cookery are you at? How much of a, like, if I gave you a restaurant? See, but that's the thing. That is no right way of doing it, right? That is a way that is famous. And that is a way that your family, your mother made, your grandmother made, which is slightly different. But there is no way to make it. Like how much spice you put, how much salt you put, is preference. There could be one thing that just, one type of recipe that becomes so famous, that's the way to do it now. But that doesn't make it a default way of doing it. Like this is how you should do it. Anything else is wrong. There is no wrong. It's based on like your taste buds and whatever, right? So everybody has different tastes, right? How, how I eat my food, how my mother made food. If I eat something different, it's different. There's no right or wrong in any way, right? Like how long would it be before you burn it down? How often do you cook? I've got an, a relative instinct for things, but I'm really not good at following instructions. I just don't like instructions very much. Really? <laughs> no. It's the same with like Ikea furniture, right? I just want to kind of intuit everything. <laughs> And the instructions are shit anyway. They're the instant noodle bullshit, right? Two minutes instant noodle. It's never two minutes. I've never made any noodle that took, you know, two minutes or something, 
right? It usually takes five or six minutes. So what do you mean by two minutes? If you, if, you, if you just follow the instruction and make a noodle for two minutes and then you eat it, those are raw noodles. That will fuck, fuck up with your digestion. You will digest it because th- those are already processed, right? It's not like you're not going to digest it. Even if you eat it raw without boiling, you're probably going to digest it. But th- that's going to fuck up with your digestion overall. <laughs> How are you freestyling IKEA furniture? Well, you just sort of, oh, well, this bolt looks about this side. This looks about like this nut size. So these two must go together. And then I, well, what, what tends to happen is I go, right, can I intuit this thing? No. All right. Historian, I've organized all the pieces neatly. <laughs> I I remember when I was down and out back in the day, didn't have much money, and I had heard, you know, there's a whole bunch of foods at the supermarket that you should really try that people simply overlook, but they're great if you don't have any money. And I'm like, yeah, go on. Yeah. And so they're like dried kidney beans and lentils and stuff. It's like, you know what? It's true. I do overlook those. Let me give that a try. Sure. So I bought these kidney beans and I thought, you know, I like these. I feel attacked. What do you mean if you're poor? Those are healthy options, right? I mean, kidney beans are awesome if you cook them right. If you don't cook them right, yeah, they'll basically give you cyanide poisoning. So there's that. Right, so kidney beans, lentils. I eat. Lent- I'm I'm an Indian, right, and a vegetarian. Is it? Am I vegan or vegetarian or like? I don't look. I'm fine with dairy, but I don't eat eggs or anything like that. So I don't know which spectrum I am, but things like that. Why I'm like I'm just like that. It's no, it's no reason. It's not like oh I can like no. I just don't eat right. So I don't comment or something this and that. Like I just don't. Why don't I eat non-vegetarian? Because I just don't. Right. So, uh, you know, the lentils are like, you know, the, one of the staples. Right. Uh, you don't, If you're a vegetarian, vegan, you don't eat lentil. What the hell are you eating? Like just rice? The, what? Some green veggies all the time. That's going to be boring as hell. So lentils, uh, you know, like kidney beans are awesome as well. And there's like another million different type of things like that. So these will be great. So I, I get these home and I'm hungry and I'm like, right, time for some kidney bean cereal, I guess. This is the most historian story <laughs> ever. <laughs> you know, if, if you're a viewer of this show and you have watched like the dozens of hours of historian <laughs> describing himself and the wonky shit, this is, this is it. This is like textbook. <laughs> no, hold on. I mean, this story doesn't really go anywhere, but all right. So I'm hungry and I've got these kidney beans and they're all dried and hard. So I read the instructions and it says, soak them for 24 hours <laughs> in cold water. Yeah. And I just went, what? What? I'm hungry now. Literally inedible otherwise. Fine. You know, I'll order something. So I, you know, went and I had some other food. Seriously, if you don't do that, you're going to get cyanide poisoning. That's not funny. Right? Kidney beans are one of the worst of all the things, all the beans and things. I think kidney beans are the worst for that, for poisoning you. You need to be careful. Kidney beans are great for nutrition. Even they're like, okay, protein and things. But even that is beans. So 50% is going to be like usable or something. doesn't matter. So, but, but they are really great at that. But if you, if you don't soak it, many things, like if you don't soak it, Basically, you'll get something like cyanide poisoning. But I, out of the principle of it, I started soaking these beans. Now, it's 24 hours later, and I'm like, right, should be good now. I tested one of them, still exactly as hard as they were when they first came out of the bag. And I went, all right, well, it's up. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know if this is instruction or not, but you're supposed to heat up the water and then soak it and keep it 24 hours. At least that's how, you know, we do it, right? Uh, otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something like that. There are some uh, some beans that could be left over because it didn't soak right. I don't know how people do it, but that's how that's, that's a way to do it, right? That will ensure it's properly soaked. You're supposed to heat the water. Something must have happened, though. I then throw that pot of water on to boil. After an hour, these things are just as hard as when they came out of the bag. I was like, what is happening? So I, I just kept cooking them and kept cooking them. And they did not get any softer. After about, you know, however much it f-ing cost me in electricity to run this f-ing stove, I went, f-ing. Uber Eats. <laughs> that was the last time I ever. First of all, how does that even happen? If you heat bean, it will get softer. So I don't know how he got that experience. How do? How was it so? I guess he 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 had such a bad bean, so somehow it became like that. I don't I don't even know. 
but he shouldn't have ate that if it was hard which means that water did nothing to it which means it still had cyanide inside obviously two three beans not going to do much but it's still fucked up tried to eat poor people food <laughs> <laughs> my mom is very adamant about not wasting food and also not buying food if you can make it right uh which is very frustrating to hear from a woman who's like capable of cooking anything mm. so when i take her out to eat like we'll go and get like fried chicken and she'll be like i can make this and i'm like i know you can make this like this is that's not the point of why we're doing this and she'll say it to me when i'm on my show like you know how to fry chicken i'm like i'm not are you fucking joking you have any idea how much of a hassle it is yeah. get half a gallon of fucking oil to fry chicken the to clean up alone and then what the fuck am i supposed to do with the oil and she's just like oh you just keep frying stuff and then once it gets dirty i'm not gonna keep frying shit all week i'm not gonna get the fucking lifespan out of this thing are you crazy add time by the way i tried to uh, puri right that, that's a it's a bread right a type of bread that you fry and make it up. yeah it's an indian food right i tried to make that once <laughs> i can do it it's not i mean i do a lot of things i'm very technical i'm very scientifically literate i can do a lot of things i can assemble any computer i can even like you know assemble a car if it's like in parts right not fully but yeah engines things i know a lot of shit like that i can make puri <laughs> i went through the shit like god damn it i have to know the exact water to put inside the dough otherwise dough is fucked right you don't want too wet you don't want too dry otherwise it doesn't especially if you're going to fry something and then finally get it right after what it seems like 40 50 minutes we should take like 10 minutes but it took 50 minutes and then i did all that i fried it and then i realized it's been like one and a half to two hours just to make that puri bread which is like basically one thing you can just eat that you have to make other things as well like a uh, vegetable uh, you know like sabji or whatever we call it i don't know like basically you put spices you do whole process right or if it's kidney beans like another right kidney beans you boil it put spices in you know, like shallow fry it and like the whole process just one bread basically puri took me that much time I'm like i am not i'm not cooking again that's never going to happen okay i am driving really fast right now because i am super late with this truck full of nord vpns and i am innocently crossing the road to use public wifi at that cafe over there no look out i'm going to hit you with the truck collision And that's when I woke up in a very strange land. Um, so that just happened. Harumph, you're the chosen one. I'm not very impressed. Come on, let's go see the king. In a I am okay. the king. You are the chosen one. I'm skeptical and self-deprecating. I'm not the chosen one. I'm just a ordinary guy. No, look, he has the sacred symbol. Oh, that's just a birthmark. No. You are the very prophesies guy i will never learn to love him and you guy in peace and a two year plan with several bonus months to all seven kingdoms and finally bring an end to dredicus whoa whoa dredicus dredicus it is it's like all the i'm evil first i'm going to hack you yes then i'm going to sell your daughter yes dredicus yes and then i'll kill your dog Do it, Dredicus. Remove the Office UK from the international Netflix catalog. No matter how much I training montage, I'll never be strong enough to fight Dredicus. Something something inspiration in a strength. Oh, okay. Wow, I did it. I believe in myself. Yes. Now do it across up to 6 different devices. You've been training for 2 years and also 4 bonus months now, and you are full strength. Nord VPN. Wait. Don't forget this MacGuffin item. Threat protection. If only I had had it many moons ago, I would still I would not have lost my arm. Dredicus. This is the fight. Yep. Whatever next was the most epic fight scene you've ever seen. Is the Baldur's Gate 3 what is that? We'll love it. International Netflix catalog. The dust settles revealing I'm still alive. Ha! The tide of the battle is turning against me. Uh-oh, I never stop driving this truck. Driving inside you a did cave. It. You defeated Dredicus. You're the new king. Thanks. Was why I love you now. I appreciate that. Let's see who was under that mask all along. <gasps> 
Sailor man? What? It's a twist, don't think about it. Instead, just go to nordvpn.com slash incognito to get a two-year plan plus four- Don't think about it, it's just a twist, I didn't write that. That is the same level of writing as lots of shows and movies have right, nowadays, right? I watched a few Spice Eyes and like some of the channels like that. Uh, what was that, Ryan George, right? What is his channel, I forgot. And I realized that some of the scripting is insanely stupid. Like, what the hell, right? Somehow when you watch a TV show, movie, you don't think about it, just sit down and relax and you don't focus on things. But when you really take more than two seconds to think about it, like, how does any of this make sense? It doesn't. So there you go. Wait a minute, I have NordVPN, right? I'm pretty sure I bought NordVPN from one of the channels or something. I don't remember. Was it from International? I don't know. But yeah, I do have NordVPN, right? Yeah, I do. I definitely have. The problem with that is, when I try to upload a video on YouTube, if I have VPN on, YouTube gets basically stuck. How to remove, you know, secret the VPN. Even then it gets stuck. How to restart the PC, then then upload. Bonus that's something. I don't know why right that's the case. Deal. You're gonna love it. It's the best damn VPN on the market. Add over. You see, lifestyles are not the same throughout the world. What? Where do you Indian? get your beverages, Mr. Historian? I put a cup outside and I wait. All right, but some people in other mm. countries have to have their drinks made for them. I find that very hard to believe. Okay, well, hopefully you don't find it hard to hit the play button. What do you got? Indian bouncing soda. It starts out with a man. Okay, all right, good description. Pouring a... <laughs> <laughs> Bro's got hey, it. Poor... Okay, so, so there's a man with a bag of milk. It seems as though he's cut a hole in the bottom, and now the liquid is all pouring out into a glass. Wait, are you a milk in a bag country? Because I'm not. I think it's weird. Never put milk in a bag. Yeah, I don't understand it. Anywhere but a bag. All right, then he takes these little sachet packets of, like, chocolate powder mix, and he just very messily puts them into the glass. Sumito, there's no flair at all. Where's the pizzazz? Well, hold on. If this is what I think it is, you're about to be impressed. Ah, yep, here we go. Didn't mix it at all, he says. Wow, he's good. <laughs> okay, I take everything back that I said. <laughs> wow, look at him go. You gotta imagine at least once or twice a day he fucks up and that dude behind him just gets splattered. Mm -hmm. You think when he makes himself a soda at home, he's doing the same thing? Oh, absolutely. His wife's pissed off because she's <laughs> asking him to warm up breast milk from the fridge. And he's over here doing spinny shit. <laughs> she's like, babe! And he's like, sorry, sorry, just cut off work. Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, I've seen ones where they fucking, like, bounce it off the ceiling and shit. This guy was just warming up. <laughs> Look at how badly he's fucking up the ceiling. Look at the black marks. First of all, he is dripping wet. Oh, wow. I don't think he's great at this. It's not sweat, it's splashback, right? I would hope it's sweat. It's India. Do you know, see the problem with India is, I know people think India is hot. It's not about being hot. There are places that are hotter than India. The problem with India is moisture. There is a literal season called monsoon here that just rains a lot of... There was just flooding past week or so. I know you've been knowing, like, why, why, am, why am I posting not videos like that? Like, I'm, I'm late with this. I'm late with the, you know, factorization video. Because there was flooding here, right? It was, it was just insane. The gyms were closed and everything. Because what, you know, rain is insane. So moisture is the one thing that gets you, right? In my house, is constant AC running at dry. I don't like moisture. My skin doesn't like moisture, as you can already see with the marks and shit, right? So it's it's mostly moisture is the issue, and that makes you like just sweaty and all the f fucking thing. And as far as this thing goes, this is not normal in India. You're not gonna find shit like this. It's probably specified in some place, right? I don't know in some city, some place, somebody does this, and it's like a novelty thing. But yeah, sodas and things, that's normal, right? Soda is just basically sparkling water, as you call it, right? Basically carbonized water, right? So sodas and like, you know, different masalas and like lemon, that's a thing, you know, it's good for digestion and everything. But all this, you know, like bar style, that's not common. Sweat. I love the idea that his wife, like, really disapproves of the way he's so flamboyant with the milk. And she's like, you're just going to serve the milk, right? You promise you're not going to do this spinny thing anymore. I promise. I promise I won't. And then he goes home and he like, his shirt is drenched and he smells like sal. Soda and milk? What the fuck is this? I've never seen this. What does milk and soda? God damn. That's like, how is that good again? Chocolate, milk and soda? Soda is just sparkling water. Why would you just like, why? 
of milk. <laughs> She's like, what have you been doing? What have you been doing all day? Nothing, I swear. Someone dropped a milk on me. It's not, it's not what you think. Can you imagine what it'd be like to come home as like a circus clown, <laughs> but your wife's like an accountant? Yeah, she's like, she's like, no more clown. He's like, I promise, I promise. But then he just keeps doing bad life choices. Like, why did you, if you didn't like clown, why did you marry? That's the thing. Like, what do you think marriage is a joke? Just like people get pissed off nowadays. Like, oh, I just married him for two months. I just didn't like who he was or vice versa, who she was. Why did you marry? Right? Like, is this joke just like, yeah, let's just get married, not worry about it later. Like, that's how things work. And people are then like, oh wait a minute, half of the marriages fail. Of course they do, and it's your fault it anyway and he has to like sneak into the house and you gotta just come <laughs> home wiping the makeup off your get face. rid of all the makeup you're covered yeah. in like <laughs> cream pie like whipped cream and like the spray water he's like knocking on the bathroom door it smells like remorse in there what are you doing <laughs> that that's what this dude's life is no way they're adding sound effects <laughs> There's no way that's that's that, that, that makes one's sense. not real. Because it's got like that CSGO one's not real. shotgun loading sound effect. That's metal, uh, thin metal. What do you call it? Like, you know how things have like thin metal, like how dishwashers have thin metal and things like your washing machines and things. That kind of thin metal. That's so why it sounds like that basically. Ah, oh, he dropped it. <laughs> no. Certified goofball. Could I do it? No. Should I do it? Probably not. But I, I gotta say, whoever's making glasses in India, good job. I don't think I'd drink it. I'm gonna be honest. No. I don't know anything that needs to be shaken that violently. Yeah. I like this. This is a good segment. Yeah, nothing needs to be shaken that violently. Pretty sure, right? Even if, first of all, like, I don't even know what that was. I think it's just mostly, like, theatrics than anything else. But I don't know. I wouldn't drink it because... When it comes to glass, I'm afraid a bit because I've seen this happen to some people where a, 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 maybe it's manufacturing fault, whatever. Inside of a glass, just like small dink of it could get loose, right? If it's just for, not from outside, from inside or something or even the top where you drink it from. And then it got, might get mixed up with the liquid. You drink it, you just drank a piece of glass. You're basically fucked. If you're lucky, sure, go to the hospital. But if you eat glass, it will cut up your insides. You ha you will have internal bleeding. When it comes to glass, I'm like, even if a glass drops, I'm like, that's done. The glass is done. Everything's done. I will just throw it away. I'm not risking that shit. If there's some kind of a medicine that comes with a with the glass, somehow it falls. I'm throwing that shit away. Even though glass is insanely strong, I know that. But even then, like, fuck that, right? And that whole thing just theatrics. And as far as like, you know, people, why do they do that, right? There is like a, a, you know, like it's like a vada pav. It's like a burger in a way. It has bread on top, two bread buns, and like a potato filling type of way with masalas and things. Is vada pav? Google it, right? It's like a burger, but it's different. There, there is a place where I am, uh, which is really famous. Has been really famous for a long time. When you go there, it's just like jam packed every single time. There's never a point where there's nobody there, right, buying it. And it's like, a, it's like you know, just like this, it's like open type shop, stall type thing is weird. And there was a point where like an income tax raided that place and found millions, millions of rupees, you know, like unannounced rupees, right? Uh, millions of like, uh, in dollars, it's, it was millions. In rupees, it was like much higher, right? Hundreds of ru millions of rupees. And I'm like, what the fuck? How does someone like that make, right? So I don't know if there was some illegal activity behind it or like he he sells so much things in every eight hours a day and every hour if he sells like a hundreds of like vada pavs or burgers or whatever, eight hours a day, every single day without a break, even Sundays they are open. Maybe they sold it so much and Indian population is like 1.4 billion. When pe pe food is the one thing in India people will like spend money on, like they don't care. Right, I bet McDonald's and Subway, since they're here, they make killing here, right? Somebody needs to really like research like how much McDonald's make money in India. So, you know, shit, the, he, there was millions in dollars the income tax found there. Like, how the fuck someone like that is making? So when you see this like that, why would you do that? You have no idea how much people will basically spend money on things like that just because it's novelty. So he must be milling a killing. He must have a BMW or some shit. I'm not gonna lie. 
You know what, Samito? I am tired of in the field. What if I did a worst case scenario? What? And you were trapped in an insane asylum. You suddenly feel a sharp pain in your stomach. Oh no. Everything goes black. It is your appendix again. Now, you are taken to a very serious hospital. There you are. Hey, that's me from when I had my yeah. penis in smallment. You're in hospital. Okay. Now, there happens to also be another guy at the hospital. He is very stressed out. Oh, this I'm pretty sure he got COVID, right? One of the videos he posted in COVID, he says Sumito has COVID or something. So he basically brought somebody else to make the video. That's what it's from. CIA is after me brainwaves. Hey, buddy, you okay, man? How did you know my name was Buddy? I'll kill you. Listen, I'll kill I your can family. see you're stressed out. Let me try to put your mind at ease, all right? I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls, man. I'm in your walls. He gives you a smile. He goes, well, you know what? You'll be in the walls soon. And you don't know what that means. Now. Time pass. Oh my god, that is such an intense thing, right? There is a reverse psychology element where sometimes people do use it like that. If they find somebody like just being, you know, insane like that, people give insane answers just to shock them so they would leave them alone, but that could backfire really badly, right? So people really need to be like sensible when they answer someone. If somebody's like on the spectrum or whatever, just like really intense, near psychotic, and they basically, you know, like paranoidly, paranoid basically sees you as an enemy and you try to give answer like that, right? Like reverse psychology, it could really backfire. And now they're probably fully convinced that you are the problem. That could backfire really badly. Officers, it's nighttime now and you go to sleep. Sure. But while you're asleep, Buddy sneaks into your room. He goes up to the medical chart at the foot of your bed and he swaps them. He swaps his chart with your chart. Oh, fuck. When you wake up the next morning, how you doing, little fella? How, how are you doing, doctor? Well, you, you gave us a bit of a fright there. Okay, well, we're just going to put these restraints. That guy's too much groomed, and his smiles are like his teeth are really white, and he's smiling too much. I don't like that. I don't like that groomed, that clean, that white smiley guy. I don't know. That's a problem right there. Paints around you. What? All right. Take him away, boys. And then security comes and takes you to... <gasps> I'm at Hogwarts? It's the Westminster <laughs> Asylum for the clinically insane and especially not yeah, good in the words. head and often dangerous and likes to bite. Okay, I'll, I'll roll with it. You are now trapped. <gasps> How do you prove that you are sane and get out? Okay, so your doctor comes in for an interview. Hello. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Poking the edge out of the window. Back. back? We're so glad to have you back. It's my first time here. Oh, is that sure right? It is. Well, we're very <laughs> glad to have you then. Brilliant. Uh, my name's Samet. What's your name? I'm Dr. Incredulous. Wow, I, I can't believe that's your name. All right. Well, I'll be back with your pills. Brilliant. And he comes back. Here you go, little fella. Oh, fuck yeah. M&M's. Just take, <laughs> just take yeah, these M &M's. and you'll be back to yourself in no time. Absolutely. And as I reach out my hands to grab the pills, I fucking wrap them around his leg, take him down to the ground, and choke him unconscious with the fucking window curtain. Fully Jason still. 16. He is Baldur's unconscious. Kid. Now what? I take his glasses, I take his lab coat, I take his stethoscope, I throw my shirt on him. All right, it's Dr. Sumito. Okay, so what are you going to do? I step outside of the room and I move into the next door. Doodly doodly do, it's me. I'm gonna roll a dice, and the first security guard that you walk by, I'm gonna see if he falls for any other stuff. Because you really failed. just like the patient that was admitted, and you definitely don't look like Doctor Incredulous. Eight. You got an eight. At a 10? This is such a terrible 20. idea. You would have to roll a 20. I'm a brown guy in a lab coat. Who the fuck is questioning me? All right, stop right there, criminal scum. Who are you? I quickly glance at his badge. What's his name say? 
I'm a security guard working for the hospital. I don't have no names. I'm a, I'm a face without a name. I'm a bit well, of a rogue agent. I don't agent. believe that. I'm Dr. Incredulous. What's your deal, man? All right, you can have my name. It's... Liz, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. And yeah. I'm ready to I do know. this. I know. Let's do this. We've met before, don't you recall? Don't tell me you've been sampling some of the pills we've been giving the patients. Listen, I've been working here the past five years. Five years, yeah, I know. In fact, uh, Dr. Incredulous is the godfather to my children. Of course. I know what Dr. Incredulous <laughs> looks like. You think and you I wouldn't are know not little him. Why don't you claim to be a new doctor or something? Why don't you claim to be the same one that people see every day? I can't believe this is the roadblock we're bumping into. What's it matter? So listen, I'm going to let you off this time, but I want you to do one thing. Anything less do this. See, the thing is, you're probably still a very dangerous mental patient. And so I need you to do a whole therapy session in order to cure yourself. That's a trap, but sure. Suddenly you're in the uh, therapy office. Why not? Why don't you have a seat over there in the chair? I think it started when my mom's standards dropped and she met. Imagine that, right? Imagine that your therapist office, there's a desk there, a chair, which is basically a desk chair, and there's a sofa for the therapist. <laughs> Other sofas all the way in the corner of the room with like a 20 feet gap between you. Like, what the fuck? If that happens, like, yeah, it's just for the safety. My father. Could I ask? I'm a little confused. Why am I in here? What makes me crazy? Well, you know, it's a multi-factor thing. Let us begin with what you are wearing. Next, you attacked an innocent doctor who was merely trying to help you. And third, on your medical chart, it said that you were a paranoid schizophrenic with gingivitis. No, the incurable disease. Yeah, so uh, what if I agree to brush my teeth and stop attacking doctors? That should cover most of that, no? Wait, do you think brushing your teeth will cure you of your craziness? Go on. I cough, <laughs> and then I lunge at her legs and start strangling her with the window. Don't sink. Guys, should have left him brush his teeth, man. That's our fault. Listen, you've come up with one solution so far, which is violence every time. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You and I both know I'm not talking my way out of a mental facility, man. <laughs> See, when in Rome, that's what this is. Like, if they think I'm crazy, might as well act crazy. Listen, I want to get better, doctor. I want to get out of here and go see my family and my internet friends that are definitely real. Well, luckily for you, we just have this brand new pop quiz that you can take, and it will determine if you are crazy or regular. Give me the quiz. Okay, so here's the first test. What do you There are no wrong see? answers. Okay, I see Kermit the Frog. Bussing it down sexual style. He might be a quirked up white boy goaded with the sauce, maybe? Congratulations, that's that's exactly right. Well, you've passed number one of three. Alright. Who's gonna be millionaire? Four. Getting out of the insane asylum. This is question two. If three kids can eat three hot dogs in three minutes, how many minutes would it take for one hundred kids to eat one hundred hot dogs? Dun, 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 dun. Would you like to phone a friend? Can I ask the audience? Or oh, a 50 50? Uh, can I phone a friend? We don't actually allow phone calls. Yeah, all right. Who do you, yeah, you want to fucking call? Uh, yeah. Can I call my buddy Sammy, the, the helicopter pilot? That's what we call him. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sammy, I'm in the f***ing mental asylum, man. Come smash in the window and helicopter me out of here. Don't you want to ask me how many kids can eat <laughs> how many hot dogs? You've only got like 30 seconds left on the clock. It's a hundred minutes, man. Just get the helicopter around to the back side. They're going to bring me to the padded room. I need you to smash into the side of the building and get me out of here. Bring, maybe bring two helicopters. Okay, <laughs> fine. Let me roll for that. Even the helicopter guys did on it, right? <laughs> But, but, what? This feels like a South Park episode. How is this becoming a South Park episode? This is the greatest thing ever. 13. You got a 13. Alright, I guess that means that Sam's on his way. 
Wait, what did you say your answer was again? I'm going to say three minutes. Final answer. That is correct. Well done, Samito. Now, to prove whether you are definitely nuts or totally normal. Final question. So, if I was to... Listen up, Samito. This is not the third question. I need your help. The CIA, they're coming for you. They're, they put a microchip in the back of your head. This was all an elaborate scheme. God they're trying to silence it. you, Samito. They're coming for you. You are the Oh my god, oh my god, this is so fucked up. What if scenarios like that exist, right? Oh, I do know there are stories of like uh, doctors abusing mental patients in asylums, right? Throughout the centuries. Abuse them, how? Who the fuck knows? Like many scenarios you could think of. Let your imagination run wild, I don't know. But this is all just fucked up. What if there is something like somebody's trying to get better, somebody's on the spectrum, which is like the reality becomes a question at that point and your doctor fucks with you like this and then just shows us, see, he's still problematic type of shit. I don't know. Oh, like, why would somebody do that? I don't know, like because probably they're fucked up in their head themselves or something. Uh, or maybe trying to like bump up the numbers. The more mental patients are there, the more they can get grant from the government or something to keep the hospital alive. There's so many scenarios. It just panics me. I can see people doing that. This is so horrible, man. And I know how incompetent governments can be. So there's probably no inquiries. Probably not much of a check there. All right, I guess I'll trust the doctor. Why not? That is so fucked up, man. Chosen one. Quick, take my gun. It's in my top drawer in my desk. When I say, are you ready for question three? That's when you have to act. Sumito, you have to save the world. All right. So, Sumito. Are you ready for question three? Yes, what I... What do you do? I do not get up and go for the fucking top drawer. That's obviously fucking... Did you see that color? It's a brown color. I'm an Indian. I'm not going for the gun, man. <laughs> this is in Britain, not even in America. I'm still not doing that shit. Place with nerve gas or something, man. This is too obvious. You can, you can see she's holding this smile on her face but it, she can't, like, hold the muscles for too long. It's becoming a faker and faker smile over time. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, I get up and... Wait, is, how is he doing that? Too long. It's becoming a fake. How is he changing the smile thing? Isn't this just a stock photo? Faker and faker smile over time. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, I get up and go to the fucking top drawer and fucking save the world. Oh, no, Sumito. It was a trap. The nerve gas releases from out of oh, the drawer. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Looks like you failed the test. This, this was the test the whole time? Who could have fucking guessed? Oh, no. But, wait. You already high-rolled on the Sam the Helicopter Pirate. And so he comes right through the wall. <laughs> Okay, okay, cut up the psychologist, and she is dead. Quick, Sumito, make your escape. That is some big ass room, but then again, Britain. So yeah, some Victoria style hall type room. Why the fuck not? 30, 40 feet high room. What does this have to do with cooking? Thanks for watching. Cooking, the hell you want about? Sumito, you do need a uh, psychiatrist, I guess. What are you talking about cooking? What, who said anything about cooking? <laughs> this is about all this shit, whatever you just watched. There you go. Yeah. This was the, one of the greatest episodes from the In the Field, I think. Or at least the one I remember. Because first of all, food. So I'm an Indian. So I, I saw some of those things. Like, yeah, it makes sense type of way. Especially this end thing, which has nothing to do with the cooking. But it was like one of the greatest back and forth type of shit with Sumito and Internet Historian. I love, they should do this, right? This is the type of shit me and my friends used to do when we were kids. kid. Just think of any ridiculous scenario and think of, you know, like imaginary scenarios like this. And just laugh and giggle. Well, everybody around us like, what the fuck are they talking about? What a crazy thing to laugh about. Yeah, there you go. Like, we think of the ridiculous scenarios like this and laugh. But basically, they do the same thing and put visual, you know, like, graphical thing like this with the stock footage and shit. They should do more like this. This is so good. Well, if you like my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.